Rick Mercer urges Canada's 3 million youth that even if you have no idea what's going on, and even if you don't know any of the candidates, get out there and vote. It'll make a difference. Not. So here we have it. We are heading into an election, or as Stephen Harper calls it, a dangerous and unnecessary exercise. Because as we all know, Canada is one of the world's greatest democracies, and the greatest threat to that democracy is that we get to vote. Why would voting be a threat when most voters don't know what it's about? But vote we will. So that means if you live in a retirement home, prepare to be targeted. That's right. And targeting the vote is one big popularity contest. When was the last time there was ever an issue discussed that was going to be resolved with the election of one candidate? Well, he wants this for me and that for me and that for me. Well, he wants this for me and that for me and that for me. Gee, they both want such nice things for me. Neither can deliver, but which of them wants the best? Because these days, it's all about targeting the vote. All the major parties have well-publicized plans to target the ethnic vote, the women's vote, the blue-collar vote, the corporate vote. If there were more than five paraplegic lesbian Inuit women in Labrador, they would be a target. So what does targeting a vote mean? It means that if it's the paraplegics, Gee, I'd like you to have ramps, and I'd like you to have more support, more financial support, and I'd like you to have better transportation. Gee, I'm voting for him. He wants me to have all these great things. He can't deliver. Duh. Everyone is targeted except for one group, the youth vote. Or the youth vote aren't as dumbed down as their parents are. Their parents have been hearing these promises all their lives, and it never mattered never mattered that this candidate wanted all these good things and this candidate said we should have all these good things and this candidate said we needed all these good things when none of them ever delivered once they got in there are more than three million young eligible voters in this country and as far as any of the political parties are concerned you might as well all be dead in fact in some elections in quebec for example the dead have a higher voter turnout. It is the conventional wisdom of all political parties that young people will not vote. And the parties, they like it that way. Maybe the youth aren't that stupid after all. After all, who is there to vote for? Not one of the guys explains how he's going to do it. It's this guy's set of wishes, this guy's set of what we need, this guy's set of what we should have, but never explaining how they're going to do it. Maybe the youth are smart enough to see through all the bullshit, and they're not going to go out and vote for a wish list that has no reality to it. It's why your tuition keeps going up. No, it's not. Whether you vote or not has nothing to do with your tuition. Everything's going up. It's because of the damned interest on everything we produce that makes prices higher than the amount of money. So please, if you are between the age of 18 and 25 and you want to scare the hell out of the people that run this country, this time around, do the unexpected. Take 20 minutes out of your day and do what young people all over the world are dying to do. Vote. And to help you with your selection, get yourself a dartboard because that's about how much information you have. Going out there and voting when you're completely uninformed is really no use at all. No matter what Rick says, get out there and vote to scare them, probably it'll boil out to be about the same percentage for each party of your uninformed votes as possible. So what good are your uninformed votes? Who needs them? They're not going to do anybody any good. May as well stay home. You haven't heard about the dream team to legalize marijuana, give you interest-free loans and jobs, but you're the generation waiting for it to be done for you. Nobody's expecting you to get up and do it for yourself.